Alright, let's give this a look. Neat place. That's glowing green. Do I need a radiation suit? Actually, I have a shadow. I have a walking animation. Analysis of the patterns on the walls cannot ascertain whether their purpose is aesthetic or functional. I'm just going to assume everything here has a purpose. Hi. And that purpose is to scare the bejeebies out of me. Ion crystal. That sounds nifty. These alien cubes each store the equivalent energy of a small nuclear detonation. The alien technology is able to keep the stored atoms in a permanently stable state. However, under the right conditions, these reactions can be recatalyzed and energy released in a controlled manner. They are likely used as batteries, storing power generated in the main reactors and then transported whenever they were needed. Assessment possible source of escape velocity energy. Hi, I think I want this. Just don't kill me when I pick you up. Okay, I was expecting it to be booby trapped or something. That that wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it was gonna be. That was the inventory. We have plenty of space. Looks like another data terminal. Thanks for Crystal. Unknown language. Attempting translation. Give me that data. Uh, this data appears to be... Thank you, Tia. This data appears to be a multi-dimensional schematic of some kind. By mapping the pattern to three-dimensional space, it is possible to gather a basic understanding of, this, of the facility's internal workings, which may help identify a way to disable it. Construction materials. This facility's unknown construction material is identified as an ultra-hard, non-reflective metal almogam? Don't know. Synthesized from off world materials, there is no indication that it can be damaged or destroyed by known means. Now that's nice. Can I make a house out of that? Power. The schematic indicates the facility was to be powered by a separate self sustaining power plant located elsewhere on the planet. The location is not listed, but there is evidence that the designs intended to harness the planet's natural thermal energy. Layout. The facilities consist of an upper engineering section where this schematic was found and the control room which is accessed via a secured sealed elevator shaft or a separate underwater moon pool. What's a moon pool? Yeah. Control. The control room in the lower section houses the only known way to interface with the facility. However, the schematic does not detail the operating pr operation procedure or installed security measures. Great. And I'm already down to half food. There. Took care of that. It's probably... Your best probable to interact. Your best probability of interacting with it is down below, basically is what it said. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I'm flying. But can I stop? Guess this is where we use key number two. Oh, 
okay. So this must be that moon pool. Did I just... I'm kind of afraid to look. I'm a hundred meters down. Oh god, it is just black out there. I don't want to know where I am. I am that terrified. Why am I that terrified? Alright, control room. There's got to be a control room from what I was reading. I should probably look at that before I go get myself killed by whatever's in the deep. Well, this looks obnoxious. Hey! Thank you. Okay, so there's a hole upstairs there. It's another one of those teleporters, right? How do I turn it on? Does anybody know how you turn this thing on? Last one asked for a power thing. This one doesn't want anything. Maybe it's on. I just don't know how to turn it. Or how to use it. Or I gotta turn the other one on too. I don't know. I don't know enough about it yet to decide or to conclude what's going on with it. Thank you. I needed another one of these. I uh, used my last one. Is that the music, or is that just, like, the end of the world theme starting to play? I admit, is it music, or is it just, like, ambient sounds coming from the space? Do I need it? Okay, so this is the control room. Great. Good thing I found three of these things. Alright, here we go. This is so cool. It's terrifying, but it's cool. Pretty sure that's what I'm looking for. It's big, it's green, it's glowy. any purpose to all of this running around area? Nope. Not that I see. Jeez, what it is that sound? Alright, let's see. Hi. Let's let's not. You can at least buy me a drink first. Okay. That. Oh, hi. Please. Oh shit. <laughs> Individuals. The control panel is broadcasting a message. Translation reads, warning, infected individuals may not disable the weapon. This I'm infected. is under quarantine. Quarantine? Okay. Scans of available alien data 
indicate the presence of a second facility elsewhere on the planet. Uh -huh. Evidence suggests it is located 800 meters below sea level, approximately one kilometer southwest of this installation. Information recorded to data bank. Well, that's fan frickin' tastic. How do I go 800 meters down? I'm terrified at 100 meters. That Cyclops thingy, it only goes down 500 meters. This device contains functional information regarding a second alien facility on the planet. Disease research facility, personnel 7, function live specimen study, objective synthesize an antidote for the highly infectious bacterium design designated CARA. Method, infection of life specimens with bacteria, observation of immune response, surviving specimens sent to primary facility for further analysis, precautions, remote containment and research sites to reduce risk of contagion, off-site thermal power generation, ground-to-air quarantine enforcement platform in case of security breach. Now we know what uh, the gun's for. In the event of an outbreak quarantine, procedures will be automatically enforced with immediate effect. The quarantine enforcement platform will target all incoming and outgoing crafts to prevent the spread of disinfection off-world. The facility was built at a depth of 700 meters, approximately 1 kilometer southwest of the enforcement platform. So a kilometer southwest of here, and really deep in the water, there's another place. And I can't turn this place off until... until I get a cure from that place? Apparently I have this car thing. Or whatever it was called. Wrong way. Can I... Yep, just walk back into it. This is really sweet when you know it's not going to kill you. I don't have a lot of food left, but maybe I can find that uh, transportation thingy and turn it on. Alright, sweet. You wanted a fuel crystal. Was that an ion crystal? I did something! We're gonna save before we stick our head in this thing. Okay, I have no idea where I'm going, but I'm going. Hopefully I can go back. That's why we saved. Where am I? What? My beacons are way out there. Where am I? This isn't the same. This can't be. I'm like on the other freaking side of the world. Well, I'm like 1,500 to 2,000 meters away. As much as I'd like to explore this, I don't really... have a lot of time to work with. There's some kind of trees? It's another island.
can't believe I used that damn teleportation device. I have no idea where I'm at. But it's pretty. Oh wow, is it pretty. You're not scannable. Are you stabbable? Yeah, but it doesn't do anything. So there's the Aurora. I'm off the south side of the Aurora. Or off the rear side, anyway. Guess it's kind of south. Oh, this is crazy. But I've got to get back to base. Now that I know that this is here, I will have to come back and take a look at this, too. But, that's all I've got time for this one. I'm going to stock up on my inventory, head back to my life pod, grab some more food and water, and we'll be ready for whatever comes next in the next episode. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the show. If you have, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, maybe leave me a comment down below, and just stay awesome. And I'll catch you next time. Later. Awesome.